at this point when this was released, it's been 10 years since the last Godzilla film. The Showa era is over. Long live the Heisei era. Godzilla 1985 is both a sequel and a reboot. Similar to what Blumhouse did to Halloween or like Terminator Dark Fate. This did it before all of them. It's a direct sequel to the original film while ignoring every sequel since. Does this film work or does it fall apart? We're going to talk about it. The film opens with a boat getting lost at sea after seeing a monster rising from an island. A news reporter finds the boat and decides to investigate. Well, he finds all the passengers basically mummified. Like something has just sucked them dry from all their blood and organs and all that stuff. Turns out it was a giant sea lice that killed them. It's actually, it's actually a really cool practical effect. With one sole survivor alive to tell the tale, he speaks of a monster with a bluish white beam and a monstrous roar. Which made me happy because, you know, Godzilla is scary again. When they return and tell the government, they decide to keep it a secret for now. Which struck a chord with me because you never know what our government will and won't tell us. Even if lives can be affected by it. And that shows that these movies still have themes that work today. Uh, after careful debate about what to do with the Godzilla news, they realized that a Soviet submarine was just sunk by Godzilla, which leads to tensions rising among the factions. The main debate is if Japan should use nuclear weapons, but they refuse, due to seeing what those weapons have done in the past. Godzilla finally reaches land, and we see his redesign, and it's... It's fine? For some reason, I... Just the design is just off to me. Yeah, I think it's the face, the lips, and the head. It ju it just comes off goofy more than menacing or scary most of the time. But back on topic, Godzilla comes to land in search of factories because they discover he eats radiation. So they scramble to find a way to stop Godzilla. They what kind of wonky way did they think of? Oh boy, they plan to lure Godzilla into a volcano and detonate bombs around him to trap him in. Uh, I told you, it sounds wonky. And here's where I kind of dislike it. This is where the film drags on for a while. The film is overly long. The film uh, over explains things. And at some point, you just got to cut to the chase and stop uh, explaining things. And there are some random characters that like show up to do like one thing and then they just like disappear. It's weird. So is Godzilla 1985 any good? Yes, it has its bright moments. But the human story to me isn't very engaging. Godzilla's destruction looks good. But his design can come off goofy at times. So I wouldn't say it's a mixed bag because there's more good than bad. But it also has good and bad. So I guess it kind of is a mixed bag. But like always, that's just my view on it. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you again and have a stellar day.